Hefner. And the head of the Playboy Empire has died. In case you haven't heard, yeah. Hugh Hefner. Hugh Hefner, yeah, the man who would lounge around the Playboy Mansion in a robe and slippers and smoking a pipe surrounded by sexy girls. He passed away. And the popular Playboy brand has become more of a digital content company run by his son, Cooper. But back in the day, the magazine, pretty popular, not so much anymore. But Hef was legendary for his lifestyle. Hugh Hefner, dead at 91. Yeah, so I know it's been a while since I made a video, but it's really just because I... Um, we're renovating our house right now and I just don't have a good background and I don't really have the motivation because I don't have a good background and it just kind of makes me not want to film. So I promise I will be back into filming. I'm actually wanting to treat, treat my YouTube channel as a part-time job so that I can make regular content and because um, YouTube is very fun for me. I've always been into video like, I've always been into recording myself. Um, I love to entertain. And I also love to teach the things that I've learned. So, um, YouTube is something I'm going to definitely try to get more into. I just need my space back to do that. So, it might be a little, it might be a little bit yet till it's the, the videos start being regular. But I am going to plan on making my videos more of a job. And um, with that in mind, let me know if you guys have any ideas of what kind of videos you want me to film below in the comments. The idea that I have is to make multiple series on my channel of different kinds of things. Number one would be um, like how to makeup, or no, sorry, how to hair. So I would show you like how I dye my hair, how I do certain braids, just like how I keep up with my hair. Cause I do all of my hair myself. Um, I stopped going to a salon years ago. So anything that you see, I do myself. So let me know if you have ideas for that. I'm also gonna be doing um, beauty tips and tricks, just like different things to prepare for makeup, to groom yourself, to maintenance, um, skincare, makeup, anything like that. I wanna do some um, story times for you. I have a very interesting life and then I also want to like um, Share videos on my own opinions of things and then I also want to do some like trying out different kinds of foods and stuff So I have a lot of different ideas that I would like to do. Um, I just need to be able to do it This gets everywhere Just setting everything. My T zone. I also do right here. This just helps your makeup to stay on longer. It's kind of like baking, but I don't really, I just kind of keep it on and it kind of just goes away. <laughs> As you can see, like it's a light layer. I don't do a real heavy layer, but it's enough to make my makeup um, stay for most of the day anyway um, through an eight hour shift. But yeah guys, so let me know if you have any ideas for me. Um, I would love to do that for you. I'm definitely, like I said, it is going to be a part-time job for me. I just have to get my scheduling and figure out when I'm gonna be able to have higher quality videos because I just don't like the quality of my videos right now. And, um, but yeah, so trust me, things will be coming. I just need to figure it out. Um, the contour and blush that I'm going to be using is actually from a um, palette that I got from Ipsy. It is the brand Pacifica. Um, the blush is like really crushed. It's the coconut blush set. I use this like every day, so it's pretty worn. <laughs> Put it down here because I do not have a chin. So we gotta carve that out a little bit. Like that. And then I use a smaller brush. This is the generic brush I got from Wish. Um, it's just like smaller and I use that to contour my nose. I kind of just put it over the 
setting powder and then it kind of just dissolves it like wipes it away now I'm gonna do blush in that same kit um, since it is like destroyed I have to tap it really lightly and then tap off the excess And I just really try to blend that in. So next I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Precious Petals Highlight. I just use my finger to do this, um, especially whenever I do it in the car. <laughs> it's a little pinky toned but I think it's still very, very pretty, and it still works, so. Wet n Wild has some great highlights out right now in their Mega Glow collection. So definitely check that out. Can get them pretty much at any drugstore. So for my brows, I have been loving this NYX Tame and Frame um, Tinted Brow Pomade. It comes in a cute little uh, like matte glass Ooh, container. Lip just fell out. So that's the product. And this is in blonde, obviously. And I just take this little brow um, majigger. I don't even remember where I got this from. But I do like brow pomade. I actually was just um, informed about this NYX. It's like a, a brow gel. Um, it comes in like a squeezable tube. And I actually think I'm going to try that out because it looks like it just like um, sets your, your brows so well. It gives it like it's easy to um, use. So I'm probably going to try that. Okay. And I wiped excess off. I'm going to brush through the front. And then I just clear up. And there you go. Pretty friggin' easy. Okay, guys, next I'm gonna do mascara and lifts, and then we'll be done. Actually, we're just gonna go ahead and. Okay, guys, and this is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching with my little car get ready with me. I don't really know what it's called, but it was just a random video that I thought I would film. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I will be starting a regular schedule with YouTube soon. So once again, thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.